Hello collectors! So you just bought a game online or from a garage sale, and like a montage of the 1994 to 1995 TV series The Critic, the box stinks, or the, the manual stinks, the cover art, or the game itself, it, it stinks! The simple and fast method of wrapping items in dryer sheets, it's pretty effective at absorbing odors. However, consider this. You spend four to six bucks and you get a hundred sheets, and that isn't much, right? But when you have to deodorize uh, something exceptionally smelly or use many sheets to wrap an item, it can add up quickly. And in particular, males. Placing a sheet between each page can take a bite out of your pocket change. So, much like any collector, I like to save a buck. I'm going to show you how you can deodorize any item, manual, case, CD, or cartridge from any generation of gaming for free, or, you know, close to it. As with most things, the less money you spend, the more time or effort you have to put in to achieve the desired result. Three methods I discuss in this video should be possible with stuff you already have or that can be attained locally for free or pretty cheap. Uh, I put quick time jumps and uh, instructions in the video description. The first method is the priciest or requires you have a lot of stuff already. It's also the one with the most instructions. It's the best method and works better than even the dryer sheets. Here's what you need. A container which can fit your stinky items. It must have a lid and must not be porous. Some sort of rack which can raise your items off the bottom of the container. Borax, which can be found in the laundry or household aisle of your local grocery or hardware store. This stuff is cheap. Four dollars for four pounds cheap. I'm using about a cup or 200 grams, which is around seven ounces for us US folks. Warm water. I'm using about a quarter of a gallon or four cups, which is around 960 grams and uh, about a liter of water. We're going to be mixing the last two ingredients eventually. Not yet. You can adjust the ratio as needed. It's pretty simple. One part borax to four parts water by volume, not mass. And toothpicks. This is only necessary for smelly manuals. These are also cheap. For less than a buck, you can get hundreds, and they're also reusable afterwards. Before you start, make sure you determine where the water line is in your container. Otherwise, your items will get soaked. Adjust the amount of water and borax to suit your container. Prepping your items. If distinctifying a case or some cover art, remove the cover art from its case. If your manual is pretty rank, you will need to place a toothpick between each page. Get them as close to the spine as possible for each page. They will get tougher to insert as more are placed. Just try your best. Alright, here we go. Pour the water into your container. Pour the borax into your container and break up any lumps. Place your items on the racks and then place them inside the container. Close the lid. After one day has passed, remove the lid. Any paper item will have absorbed some moisture so be careful when handling them. Let the items dry out on racks completely. It should take a day or so. If you're defeaterizing a manual, now that it's completely dry, remove the toothpicks. I find it's easiest to do this by using another toothpick to push out the one placed in the book. Your manual will look like one of those Indian Lotus pictures. Pretty, but it would be best if you could close the pages and read it like you previously did. You will have to close the manual and press it flat under some weight. This usually takes a few days. If you use more weight, the better the results will be or the less time you have to let the items rest. I use a decent size bin where I can stack multiple racks. I've stacked three levels before and all items came out smelling like nothing, which is what we want. I'm not sure how big of a container is too big nor the max number of items that would work with one cup of borax and four cups of water, but adjust your ratio as needed for your purposes. Method 2 is free. Hooray! However, I'm saying right at the top, Method 2 takes a while to work. Plenty of times you visit shopping centers and walk past those news bins. You've seen those boxes. They're usually by the post office or grocery store, but can be found elsewhere. Some require you pay to obtain a newspaper, but there is usually a local paper that is available for free. Grab several copies and don't be worried about taking too much. 
These things are stocked regularly, and lots of copies end up getting recycled anyways, so why not get ahead of things and recycle them for your destentifying project? Here's what you need. Newspaper. Fresh paper works best. Paper that is too old or yellowed may lose efficacy. Also, it has to be newsprint material and not have a waxy coating like a magazine. Additionally, those apartment finder papers aren't very good either. Optionally, you can use a rack. This enhances the process of getting rid of smells by allowing airflow. Okay, here we go. If it's a male that smells fetid, cut some pages of the newspaper to approximately the height of a male. Fold the newspaper pieces closely to each page of the manual. If your case or game has BO, remove the case art from the case. Make sure to fit some paper underneath the plastic lining on the case. Wrap your game in newspaper. If it's a cartridge, I recommend opening it up and wrapping each piece in newspaper. Now you can simply place the items on a table, but placing them on a rack allows airflow around the items. Furthermore, leaving windows open will allow air exchange much faster. You can also place the wrapped items outside, but make sure you weigh down the racks and items so they don't blow away. You're going to have to exchange the newspaper once a week. Like I said, this method can take a while to work. When you think you're done, remove the newspapers. Your items may have a newspaper smell. Just let them air out for another week or so. Now method 3 is free, however, it doesn't take much effort to do. This method might be controversial as it replaces the funk of the items with a more pleasant scent rather than removing all smells, but hey, you work with what you have. Here's what you need, a container or drawer that smells pleasant. Maybe you have a dresser that smells like cedar or pine. Simply place your items in the drawer and wait a week or more to remove them. The longer you let the items rest, the more they will absorb the smell of the container and the less grody your manual, box, cartridge, CD, or whatever will be. A variation I've thought of but haven't tried is using a drop of essential oil of mint, lemon, or cedar in a small container, then placing the noxious items on racks inside, closing the lid, and letting them sit for a week or longer. My guess is they should have absorbed the pleasant aroma. If you do try this, be careful when handling essential oils. Though they can be plucked off the shelf at any grocery store, these oils are very powerful and can burn on contact. Most essential oils are sold with an applicator or eyedropper to make using them easier. And with that, your games will be unstinkified in no time. Some games, however, can't be saved by any of these methods. And of course, play the game!